Great day everyone! Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated on my latest videos. Today viewers, we are going to discuss or tackle different topics. Welcome back again to Ram's Tutorial. Great day everyone! Welcome to Ram's Tutorial. Our topic today is all about area, perimeter, and volume. Remember class, the perimeter of any polygon is the sum of the measurement of each side. For example, to find the perimeter of a rectangle, one only needs is to know the length of one side and the width of one side of the rectangle. So we are going to follow the formula, okay, by adding all the sides of in getting the perimeter. In getting the area, we are going to find the length times width or L times W and the right formula in getting the volume. Now class, we are going to solve first here our word problem but before that we should know that we should practice in getting perimeter, area and volume that we are going to master all of the formula. Again, perimeter is you are going to add all the sides, that is side plus sides plus sides plus sides. It depends upon the number of sides of the polygon. So for example, plus square has four sides, equilateral triangle has three sides, hexagon has six sides, pentagon or equilateral pentagon has six sides. So you are going to add all the sides. Here in area class, in getting the area, you are going to find it out, their length and their width, okay? Yung haba at saka yung buka po niya. Length and width, kung gaano ito kalapad. And volume class, we're going to find it out, the exact formula in getting the volume, of course, whether the volume of the liquid, whether, and what we call, in particular, what we call solid figure. Here we go. Let's do this class. Okay, so for example, word problem number one, we are going to unlock or to solve it. Let us read first. Please watch my videos. Weight problem number one, if the perimeter of an equilateral pentagon, so we are talking about class equilateral pentagon, is 75 inches. Questions, find the length of one side. So remember, our Perimeter of an equilateral pentagon is 75. Now, class, remember, equilateral pentagon. Equilateral, this is number one. Solving problem solution for number one class. Solution. Okay. So, remember, class, equilateral. So, this is one by one class. So, that's clear for you. Equilateral pentagon. Equilateral pentagon has five what we call sides. So this is what we call perimeter. We're going to get the perimeter of the seed problem, which is about equilateral pentagon. Now, our equilateral pentagon has a perimeter of 75. Now, we are going to get the one side, length of one side length of one side okay remember students please follow me length of one side we're going to get it since this is 75 class this is my formula or very short form techniques in how to get the length of one side of equilateral pentagon to get 75 since our equilateral pentagon has five sides we're going to divide to the total what we call perimeter of equilateral pentagon rather so we're going to divide by five plus follow guys this is a very good techniques class in getting your answering the first word problem you should know and you should concentrate and comprehend the questions seven divide five the answer class okay please follow one one times five the answer is five Next class, we are going to subtract 5 to 7. So the answer is 2. Please follow, guys. That's it. Next, teacher, um, we, are, we can divide 2 by 5 because 5 is greater than 2. Yeah, you're right. 
now we are going to bring it down five to make it whole number now class or my other students we can divide now 25 divide 5 the answer class is 5 let us check it next multiplied 5 times 5 is 25 it's clear class so the length of one side of equilateral pentagon is 15 okay 15 and chest now chair how can i know if my answer is correct very simple i am going to give you the key on how to solve it now let's multiply 15 this is multiplication skills class in checking your answer whether it is correct or not 5 times 5 is 25 bring down 5 class so you should know how to multiply it use your multiplication skills next class 1 is in the next number we are going to multiply 1 times 5 is 5 then don't forget to count the regroup number 7 so the answer now is 75 class this is correct okay that's very clear okay that's our answer for number one and we're going to write here 15 inches for length of one side okay but this will be our answer for number one solution for number one okay that's it. our answer class okay okay please follow guys we're going to proceed to number two word problem okay number two the please follow guys height of a wall wall means other class is eight feet and the room is 12 feet wide question find the area of the wall okay this is a very exciting class we are going to find the area chiram or chiraf how can you find the area remember class you should know or what we call master the formula i'm going to give you the formula class so that you can solve it whether uh my solving is correct or not okay a stands for area class remember length times width is equal our answer so there is no answer yet because we are going to solve it so we're going to multiply their length and their width chair where's the length okay here we go number two solution this is our number two class number two we have phrase so formula a is equal to a length times width so our length is 12 feet we're going to write 12 okay feet times our width is eight feet now class it's almost done we are going to multiply that simple my solution here please follow guys how to multiply that because i really wanted you to know my techniques 12 times eight the secret here guys is you need to comprehend the question two times eight guys okay we have 16 regroup one the next number being multiplied one times eight is eight plus one is nine next the answer is what we call 96 so that is our answer or the area for number two is 96 feet this will be our answer for number two 96 feet okay let's have first a break wait for a minute okay guys welcome back again okay let's continue that was our answer for number two guys so the secret here is you need to master the formula okay hope you can follow okay we are going to present to number three okay number two guys please follow a 
rectangular solid. Oh guys, this will be a very interesting rectangular solid. That means okay, a rectangle shape. Rectangle has four sides, guys. Four sides rectangles. Has dimension, may so po siya. Four by five by a a is letter a is where you're going to unlock the right measurement or the right dimensions of rectangular solid question if the volume is 100 question what is the measure of a oh guys we are going to find it out the right measurement of letter a then i will give you the right solution for that Sharam, how can i give or solve the dimension of rectangular solid here we go guys number three we're going to unlock the rectangular rectangular solid okay remember guys rectangular solid has four sides take note you should know also the following shapes or or what we call the different polygons they're following they're what we call their numbers of sides so that is easier for you to solve it so now what is the measure of a so the given equation is four times five times a so we're going to find it out the exact what we call dimension what is dimension class dimension means is the exact measurement of what we call rectangular solid it's a rectangle shape remember class so don't be uh what you call confused about it now we are going to find the volume remember class the volume is exactly 100 po. so we are going to find it out the exact volume of 100 now we are going to solve it Sharam, how i'm going to solve it length we're going to find it out length times width times height we're going to find it out the height so we have very class four times five times a question mark we're going to solve it four times five 20. so now class a to make it 100 a stands for five now we are going to solve it 20 times five zero times five is zero two times five guys is ten therefore our answer now this will be our answer for number three so a now the the length of a is five guys this will be the answer for number three a is five all right okay so when you check it guys multiply 20 times 5 the result is 100 equivalent for the volume of rectangular solids right so four sides so four times 5 20 times 5 is 100 okay now it's very exciting class we're going to present to number four okay so we're going to solve it one by one guys so that it's easier for you to understand right okay number four lara has a vegetable garden okay guys we know that vegetable garden it's a plot so it's what you call i think it's four sides it's maybe rectangular or a square side a square shape rather that's okay that is six feet long how about you guys and four feet wide lara wants to cover the ground with fresh dirt question how many square feet of dirt would she need so remember class square has four sides so we are going to proceed to number four and getting the solution for number four remember okay since a vegetable garden that's what you called uh, four sides so we are going to what you called find the square feet so now a vegetable garden has vegetable a vegetable garden a vegetable garden has four sides 
okay now six feet long we have six feet long and four feet wide okay since four sides so we are going to have here six times two we have 12 feet four times two we have eight feet okay we are going to add now eight times eight plus two we have ten regroup one so therefore our answer we have 20 feet okay question how many square feet of dirt would she need she need 20 square feet that's for number four 20 square feet okay that's the answer for number four remember next class almost done okay let's proceed to number five tony has a large square room that he wants to have carpeted he knows that the perimeter of the room is 100 this is the perimeter class but the carpet company wants to know the area what is the area of his room now class the perimeter of his room is in getting the number five class we have first number five uh, the perimeter of his room perimeter is 100 feet okay this is room but the company carpet wants to know the area so we're going to find it the area po. area is equals to length times width so we can get the area so now class we have first year remember Tony has a large square room that he wants to have carpeted and he knows that the perimeter of the room is 100 feet now class remember in getting the perimeter of a square a square has four sides okay so we are going to find it out the what we call the area so we have here to get this 100 feet 10 times 10 the answer is 100 it's same so therefore what is the area of his room 10 by 10 area of his room hope guys you learn a lot from Techeram about my different techniques in solving area, perimeter, and volume. But remember class, in solving this again, we should master or know the different formulas because the formulas help us to do something, okay, in a good way. Hope, my dear students, hope to see you guys again to my next video. So long class, and thank you again for watching my videos or for spending your time. God bless us all and don't forget to subscribe to Ram's Tutorial Blog. Bye-bye and God bless us all.